The walls object can be attached to any planar in your BS or Cinema 4D spline objects. It can also be attached to other walls, floors, or flat patch objects. Attaching walls to NURBS object. Attaching walls to Cinema 4D splines object. Attaching walls to other walls object. Walls are created from the parent object using three methods, inline, outline, or a combination of both. Outline method creates only outside walls. Wall depth is oriented outward and lines inside are ignored. Inline method creates only the inside part of the walls, including room walls. Wall depth is oriented inward. Combined method assembles both methods, allowing different depths for outer and inner walls. You can easily export a new floor plan from the top or bottom of the walls. With the outline floor plan choice, it's easy to continue to the next custom floor of the building. By choosing the inline floor plan option, you can create a new separate object exclusively for room floor customization. This empowers you with greater control and precision in crafting each room according to your specific design requirements. With the source floor plan choice, you can copy the original floor plan from which the walls were created. The source option is neither outline nor inline, but rather the original drawing used to create the actual object. The floor object can be attached to any planar NURB or cinema spline objects. It can also be attached to other walls, floors, or flat patch objects. Attaching a floor to a NURB floor plan. Attaching a floor to a walls object. When the floor object is attached to an object with a height such as a wall, it offers two available options of levels. Floor, created at the bottom of the parent object. Ceiling, created at the top. The outline option functions similarly to the wall object, enabling you to create either a complete floor using the outline mode or specific room floors using the inline mode. The offset parameter expands or shrinks the floor in the outside or inside direction, while the depth parameter sets the thickness of the floor object. As with the wall object, you can export a new floor plan from the top or bottom. With the outline choice, you create a new floor plan outlining the floor object. With the source choice, you copy the original floor plan before offset. The windows object can only be attached to the walls object. If walls are selected, they are attached automatically. If walls are not selected, you need to attach them manually after creation. By default, windows are automatically generated from parameters covering the outer wall uniformly. The bottom and height parameters Define the size and position of the windows vertically. The width parameter defines the horizontal size of the windows. Gap parameter 
defines the distances between windows and between windows and wall corners horizontally. The depth offset parameter defines the window offset into the wall. Windows can also be defined by the user through two different methods. The first method involves using floor plan lines. To create custom windows with a floor plan lines object, simply click within an orthogonal window while the window object is selected. In this case, the windows are represented by 2D lines that snap to the edges of the wall. You can convert floor lines from the windows created in generated mode using the convert to windows line button. The second method for creating custom windows is using wall frames. Simply click directly on the wall surface within the perspective window while the window object is selected. Wall frame shapes are defined by creating closed curve shapes directly on wall surfaces, offering greater flexibility for editing and creating windows in various shapes, not limited to rectangles. You can convert any previous method into a wall frames object using the convert to wall frames button. The roof object can be attached to any planar NURB or Cinema 4D spline objects and can also be attached to other walls, floors, or flat patch objects. The roof object is generated from a floor plan extracted from its parent object. It can automatically generate hipped and gable types of roofs. In hipped mode, you can define only the overall slope of the roof. In gable mode, you can choose which edges of the roof have a slope and which do not. In automatic mode, Edges are used for gabled or hipped roofing based on the ratio parameter. 100% uh, ratio means all edges are gabled, while 0% makes the entire roof hip. In the selected edges mode, you can manually designate which edges are gabled by selecting edges of the parent object. The parent object needs to be a NURBS floor plan. So in this case, you must extract it first and then reattach the roof on the floor plan. This enables the creation of customized gable roofs by selecting specific edges and allows for a wide variety of custom roof styles. including side roofs. By selecting edges, you can create a wide range of roof types with remarkable variety and versatility. The default slope shape is a line. The shape of the slope can be altered by adding a curve object as a child to the roof object. This allows you to create roofs with curved profiles. In the final chapter, we provide a quick example of how to efficiently generate a building from an existing floor plan tree. Let's replicate this simple building structure with its six parametric objects into a new floor plan. To duplicate the first floor, we'll set the roof floor aside and select the three objects from the first floor. We'll proceed to make as many copies as needed, always attaching them to the topmost wall. The new floors expand because each wall is outlining the previous floor to which it is attached, and the floor has an applied offset. To disable this, we must set the parent floor plan option to source instead of outline in every wall object. 
the roof can be restored now. Then we'll enhance the two middle floors with more glass elements by adjusting the window parameters. At this point, the building remains entirely parametric with only the parameters of objects being modified. We can still alter the base floor plan and the entire building from the bottom to the top will be reconstructed accordingly. Now, let's add one more separate block to the building. For further customization, we can divide the building into parts by inserting additional floor plans. This can be easily achieved by extracting a floor plan from any wall or floor object and reattaching the remaining objects. By isolating the two upper floors, any changes to the new floor plan will exclusively impact these floors. As you can see, these new tools are highly versatile and fast, capable of generating precise buildings in a matter of minutes.